feels? Boy, it's just been a whirlwind that just keeps swirling, huh? Yeah, it is. I think that would depend on what the scouts tell him as if he's going to get drafted as a quarterback or at another position. I keep hearing tight end, but for the life of me, I can't figure out why anybody would think he'd be a tight end. He's never played, never had to block anybody his whole life, and you just don't go to the NFL and become a blocking tight end or uh, handle an outside linebackers or defensive end. So we'll see how it progresses. It wouldn't be a bad idea for him to go to the CFL and uh, develop his skills a little bit. He wraps up, like I said, 31-4 and four as career as a Buckeye, a couple BCS bowl wins. He had a lot of highlight moments. I don't really feel like you can look back at his career and categorize it as a failure, maybe, you know, a disappointment at times. But how do you look back? What do you think of now, you know, your initial kind of knee-jerk gut reaction when you think of Terrell Pryor, tenure at Ohio State? I think on the field, uh, it was an incredible success. He was a great college quarterback. He won a lot of football games. He was the biggest third-down threat quarterback out there. I mean, he kept games alive. He did some great things. He had some bad plays, but we all do as college players. But his record speaks for itself. 31-4 is pretty darn good. You would so say- off the field, though, you know, he made a lot of poor choices, which ended up costing him, costing the program, costing his teammates, costing everybody else. And that's by the choices that he made. You and uh, several others had said last week when upon Trussell's resignation and shortly after you had a feeling that he had probably played his last snap as a Buckeye, so I anticipate this news is not all that surprising to you? No, not at all. No, because I don't know where Luke stood either. I mean, who's to say Luke wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have uh, set him out for conduct detrimental team or whatever decision he decided to make? And so I think ultimately, you know, it's, it's probably the best for both parties that he's moved on. Yeah, and that's kind of the feeling I have is for the Buckeye football team, because you've been inside locker rooms. You know, you don't need a guy who is, is going to divide a locker room. No, I mean, he, but he, I think he did divide the locker room. I mean, you hear stories. I hear stories. And that's, the, that, you know, I put that blame on some of the other seniors that uh, let him maybe do some of the things that he wanted to do. Uh, and also, I think that Coach Trussell, if he had to do it all over again, he might have handled that star quarterback a little different than he handled uh, Terrell. Talking to 97 one of the fans, Chris Spielman, also with ESPN College Football Live. Spielman on sports starts August 31st here on 97 one of the fan. Let's go back to his you know, pro potential, be it you know, professionally in Canada or the NFL. I'm with you. He's never played with his hand on. He's never lined up at tight end. But yeah. do, you, do you think, though, if he had a year to kind of learn the position, catch some balls, block, He's got the body. I think the one of the main reasons people talk about him potentially playing yeah. tight end is he is built like a potential tight end. Uh, let me ask you, what is his desire to be a tight end? Well, it's probably NFL? zero. Yeah, it's probably zero. So, I mean, if you have zero desire to be a tight end in the NFL and you're talking about going up against the best in the world, I mean, you take a look at some of those outside pass rushers and defensive ends. You've never run a pass route in your life besides a fade in a bowl game. It's a different world, and I'm not saying it would be impossible for him to do, but I, I, I kind of get a chuckle. Oh, just move him to tight end. <laughs> and he's going to be like an all-pro tight end. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you think there's not guys that are professional tight ends in this world? I mean, that's <laughs> unbelievable to me. Well, can, you think he could be? It's, look, it's impossible to predict, but could he be an NFL quarterback? I'm not saying he can't. I just think there's a long way to go, and somebody's got to take him, and it's got to be a, develop, a developmental project, and you have to be willing to – to, to invest that time and money into him. But, you know, his reputation isn't the best right now. Sure. And so what kind of money are you going to put in a guy that you know that hangs, was hanging out with a drug dealer? I mean, I, mean, I mean, I wouldn't take him regardless of potential. Yeah. So, I'm, would you? No, no. right now I'd be very wary. I, I would put him through a, a battery of tests and interviews before I would even think about even wasting a supplemental draft pick. Yeah. I mean, well, if you, I think if you use the supplemental, don't you give up your draft choice in the uh, uh, next April draft? Yeah, whatever round you choose, you lose that yeah. pick. It just goes away next year. Yeah, so I, I don't know, Adam. Uh, if you're asking me now, there's, I, don't, I don't take him. I think there's too much baggage on the ground. I think there's too much stuff that he's gone through. And, and uh, hanging out with a drug dealer, that yeah. bothers me. And, you know, I, other issues and stories that are out there, I'm not going to give the guy a million dollars. I'm not going to give him two million dollars. Sure. Uh, why? Absolutely. You know? and, and what for? For maybe a long shot at quarterback in the NFL? It doesn't make sense to me. But what do I know? Well, you know a lot. That's all we have you on, yeah. buddy. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, man. All right, have a Spielman scramble is uh, is Monday. We're looking forward to it. All right, thanks, Adam. You're doing a great job. Keep it up, partner. Thank-